Hello YouTube, this is Annihilation. And as you can see, Rock Megaboss has green skin. Um, I even got the camera to focus on it, which I'm very happy about. Uh, the next layer is, maybe it'll stay in focus, the next layer is his, um, well technically it's the leather pants that he's wearing here, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to do more than that today. Uh, leather pants at the bottom, the chain mail, which I think that's going to be a case of mostly washes. Uh, there are some straps that keep, why is it not showing you that? Um, Okay, you can see it here on his arm. There are some straps on his wrist there that keep this armor plate um, stuck there. Um, and then what else is there? I think that's it. Oh, there's the loincloth. Just, just a tiny bit there. That's the loincloth. Um, as far as colors are concerned, for his armor, I think Eshin Grey is going to be the base coat with uh, Dawnstone as a highlighting color and then once we get it all down and we wash it down with some of this skill enhancer right here, the non-oil, um, we'll see about any edge highlighting that I might want to do or not. Uh, again, in this case, um, we're treating this like a beginner project, which means that we're going to get paint on the models first and then we're going to decide um, how crazy we want to push it. Um, that being said, for the time being, I'm avoiding the axe and I'm avoiding the skull. I imagine those two things will be last. Um, and I'm already anticipating some trouble because um, when I wash this or the axe, well, the axe less so, but certainly when I wash the skull, there is the chance that uh, paint will drip onto the armor there, but I don't want to do the skull first because it's obviously massively in the way So I worry about painting the armor if I do the skull first the skull will be last and I guess I'll just have to be careful uh, How that goes we shall see focus bad camera focus Okay, see this is the kind of thing that drives me crazy focus This is what you want to focus on Oh Yes Yes, okay. Uh, stop. Stay there. Good. As you can see, the autofocus and I still have not come to terms. Um, our negotiations continue. Uh, about the brush. Again, the Mr. Brush round number four. I am a fan of, despite it being fairly low quality and there being a extraneous bristle there. Um, not sure what we'll do about that. In fact, I'll show you what we do about that. We're going to take the sprue cutters and just, there you go, trim the edge off that. We're going to use this probably for the armor. I really like this. So let's get a start and see how we do. Away goes that, away goes this. And we're going to give this a shake because it is, as usual, brand new. Oh, that's very close to the camera. See, it can focus. It just likes skin more than orc miniatures. Um, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Yes. Ooh, that is a warm gray. This ashen gray. Very warm color. We will once again use the excellent tool that I have to get paint out of the bottles. You go there. Very good. Close this back up. Now, someone more savvy than I with video editing software would edit all this stuff out. They would tell you what they're going to do, and then they'd cut to them doing it. Um, two reasons I'm not doing that. One is I'm not that tech savvy. Um, and the other reason is um, this saves me a ton of time. Let's start here at the back. They're very interesting ridges on Urak Megaboss's armor um, that make it look as though the armor was hand pounded with a hammer, which undoubtedly was the case. Um, but it lends itself to this edge highlighting technique that you see almost everywhere uh, because the edges pick up less of the paint as the paint flows around it, especially when it's watered down like this. Um, and so are naturally a lighter shade. 
which is very cool. Is it, it's not focusing, is it? Focus, thank you. Um, because I'm painting gray on gray, despite using a darker gray than the priming, the prime coat, uh, prime coat, <laughs> the primed gray is a lot lighter. Um, this is still a bit different than painting a bold color like yellow or red or blue or something uh, like I did with the Space Marines because it's easy to miss bits where you didn't quite get the paint on which again is why it's watered down as much as it is which is why we're going slow um, putting on too little paint is something you can fix with more paint putting on too much paint more trouble more problematic um, that looks all right Let's move to the front. Is it still focusing? It's going to focus on my hand. I don't like that. I am not the star of the show. Rock Mega Boss is the star of the show. Again, in terms of satisfaction level, painting a well, what would be a giant orc if it wasn't a miniature, but yeah, painting a giant orc war boss is. Um, rating about a 10 on my satisfaction scale. Um, I've looked forward to doing this for a while now. Um, focus. Mother. Okay, I won't swear on YouTube. But um, I want to swear on YouTube. I, I just won't. Um, I'm just going to hope it focuses eventually. Um, painting one of these is something I've looked forward to since I saw the model online. Um, to be fair, I didn't wait very long with buying it, knowing that I was going to want to paint it. Um, models as good as this one are basically ready-made excuses to get back in the hobby if you've been slacking or um, get the motivational juices flowing again if they've been not flowing. Focus. Why will you not focus, you horrible... Ah, yeah, yes. Oh, no. Mm. Yes, it's in focus. If you were doing something else and, you know, doing this in the background, it's in focus now if you want to watch. Fantastic. Um, this model and its bigger brother, the one where he's riding the giant beast of war. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Someone will tell me, I'm sure. Um, they just invite you to take a day off work and paint and if orcs don't do it for you um, quite a lot of the other models in the Age of Sigmar range right now are really good as well the Stormcast Eternals I think they're called um, they are I mean they're just badass models um, I did like the old models for what used to be called just Warhammer and is now called Age of Sigma. Um, or Warhammer Fantasy, whatever you want to call it. But the quality level has improved dramatically over those older models. Um, many of you will have some of those older models and you need only hold them up next to one of the newer ones to know what I'm talking about. Um, the level of detail has increased exponentially over the years. Painting this on camera for you guys is a little bit odd, especially when it won't focus. <laughs> okay, maybe I will take this thing back to the store because this is just incredibly bad. Um, this is what you want to focus on. You see that? Oh! Look how close it will focus if you just make it focus on it, but it just doesn't want to stay focused for some reason. All right, we're going to put it here, dead center. Yes. Oh, see, but when I move my hand, it immediately wants to focus on my hand. I needed to immediately not do that ever. Um, but yeah, painting these for you guys with the model facing the camera is a bit weird. Obviously not how to teach you to do it in art school, but um, 
I don't mind. Hopefully you guys will get something out of this as well. I mean, I'm getting enjoyment out of it, obviously. And the painted model, eventually. Um, interestingly enough, the Oric Mega Boss model, you can kind of see his, uh, I want to say, get this right, his left leg. It has a little tiny base of its own. Like, I, I think they really like this pose and just maybe couldn't make it work without the... Okay, focus, there you go. Without the, uh, the little bit of ground or soil or whatever he's standing on. In terms of um, gameplay, I'm not sure if there is something similar to Kill Team for Age of Sigmar. I have to imagine there probably is. Or maybe that even predates Kill Team. Um, but in Kill Team, from what I can tell, you can't really go too crazy with the models you can use. Obviously, you can't drop in a Titan and be like, yeah, that guy's totally part of my Kill Team. Um, but it actually goes beyond that. You can't really use named characters, it would appear. But because you're only using maybe a handful of characters, or a handful of models, I should say, um, what you can do is take each one and just go crazy with the paint job and the customization, because you don't have to do a whole army. Um, so for me as well, that's very tempting to get into, like I said last time. And I may. I mean, the guy who runs the... Kanda Games Workshop shop here in Tokyo. There are four, he ended up telling me. There are only two that I could find online when you type in Games Workshop Tokyo, but there are four, um, including one close to my house. But I like that guy, so I might go back there, um, see if I can't play a couple of Kill Team games with the 40k stuff, if and when I have some models available. And, you know, the... Um, I enjoy watching battle reports, um, mostly because that's fantastic background noise while you paint. They're always like two hours or more long. And, um, if they're British guys talking, it's quite soothing to listen to. Um, Winter's SEO and um, who else? The guys at uh, Tabletop Wargaming, and you know, there's, a, there's a bunch of them who do a good job with the battle reports. They make me want to play. That That's also true. They make me want to go out there and, well, maybe not do a 2,000 point army game, but at least play Kill Team. There's a very good chance that I will go back to the store with this camera and tell them to sort out their shit because, oh, I promised I wouldn't swear on YouTube. I've got to get some sort of swear jar because swearing is uh, not good on the internet. In real life, I mean, at least you could say something back to me, but here, like, I'm talking to you, and it's a one-way relationship, which means I try to keep it civil. If it helps, I'm not swearing at you guys, I'm swearing at other things, models, paints, brushes, cameras, mostly cameras, to be honest. The, um, the Age of Sigmar, this hand-pounded looking armor, lends itself a bit more to my paint style, which is uh, not very clean, I would say, not very crisp. I got a little carried away with the Space Marines and started doing like all this fun blending and things like that, and then I ended up um, having three Space Marines that looked a lot like a um, Van Gogh painting in terms of brush strokes, which was fun, but not necessarily the effect we wanted. Um, so I had to go back and uh, hit them with a couple more light coats of the um, 
the straight color to push them back down a bit. So obviously not the most expedient way of painting Space Marines, but we're still on track. I had a, a lot of color separation on the, the wet palette when I came back to it after the work days that I had. Um, but um, everything is so moist that you can just blend it all back together and you recreate the color. But it does, it breaks it down to its base components, which especially for his skin color, color was just a really light yellow at the bottom with a really dark blue on top. In fact, I might be able to show you that if it'll focus. Can you see, yes, that blue blob, this one here, that is his green skin tone which is ridiculous. And we're back. Um, bits of armor left in the bottom there. This guy has no shortage of armor, obviously. I'm not sure what his stat line is in the game, but I'm imagining he's got a fairly decent armor value. Now, I've watched some tutorials already about um, rust effects and things like that. Um, it looks cool, but if you are used to high fantasy with the perfection level higher than it would be in real life, so to speak, um, I'm not sure the rust is necessary. Like um, the really crisp paint jobs for him, including Games Workshop's own yellow one that I talked about last time. There is no rust, and they look fantastic. Ah, see, all these edges have a backside as well that I keep forgetting. Yes, okay. I feel like I should just put a green screen in front of my chest so it stops trying to focus on my t-shirt for whatever reason. I won't swear, I promise. Well, I can't really promise that, but I'll do my best not to swear. Let's put it on. Okie dokie. Focus. Not on my hand. Not... Mother... I need a bleeper or whatever they use on TV to make it so that people don't swear. Um, right. No, nope, don't do that. Okay. That is his armor layer number uno. Uh, this layer, obviously, no wet blending, just a straight uh, color, um, or lack thereof, as the case may be in this gray. A couple edges here that I forgot with the paint. Excellent. Um, with this model especially, I think the wash is going to do a ton of good. Um, that's where you want to be good. Okay. Um, and obviously, I've painted all of his armor the same color. It doesn't have any patterns yet. There are a couple of um, like indentations, like these are tooth-shaped indentations in the armor. I'm not sure if you can see those. I think so. Um, a lot of the painters painted those in different colors where they took one plate of armor and made it a different color to the other, like this add-on bit, which is clearly bolted onto the main back plate. Um, like make that red or something um, as in keeping with the orc aesthetic of whatever works works uh, I'm not sure if I'll do any of that uh, I quite like the idea of this just being a bunch of 
steel um, of the same color, like not even paint it, just steel. Boom. Um, but um, we will see. Like if I think if I feel like it's too dull or boring, then I might change it. But... I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here. The, all these edges that I failed to get with the gray. While trying not to get too much of the gray onto his green skin. Um, for those of you who watched the original video, we started with this skin because we're going to build the colors from the inside out. Um, that is still more or less the plan. With the exception of the chainmail, which I may just do a, a, a metallic color and then wash it with not gnome oil, but the other one, Arthrax, no, not Arthrax, ridiculous, um, Agrax, Agrax Earthshade, that one, um, I actually did up, ended up getting a few of them, I have the uh, Athonian Camo Shade, obviously gnome oil, and then, uh, I think that's it, I think I have just these three shades, um, the rust looking one, the earth shade, might be better for the chain mail, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, because it's warmer, it'll contrast better, I think. Oh, bottom of his foot. Right there. Excellent. Um, this will require several more layers, obviously, before we're anywhere near ready. And there will be a cut to that. I will try to edit the video together. We'll see how it goes. Um, but for the time being, I wanted to just show you me painting the uh, the plates, which I think we've now successfully done. Huzzah! Um, I'll do the pants uh, off camera. It's just basically the only bits you can see is his ass, which you won't be able to see when he's standing on the table anyway. Um, did I say ass? I meant posterior, whatever the YouTube friendly version of ass is. Um, that's what I meant. What a fantastic model. Uh, his axe, I will do with at least two colors. Um, the main axe blade here might actually be the same gray color as his armor. Um, and then the, if you want to call it the sharpened bit, uh, sharpened might be a bit of an overstatement, but it looks at things, but the cutting bit will be a different color. Focus. Focus. Oi, yes. That cutting bit will be a different color. And then those, again, those add-ons, those teeth-looking things. Uh, might do something fun with those before I splatter blood all over it, which <laughs> I will do. Um... Yeah, I think we're good. I think that's it for now. Um, we will come back this after I've done some more coats, and then we'll get into uh, probably some wet blending, some getting some light on there, um, and then a wash once it's dry with the shades, and then picking out highlights and then seeing where we're at. YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Um, this is the Annihilation Learn or Be a Beginner Modeler channel. Uh, if you do like that sort of thing, or if you like me rambling on in the background, um, then by all means hit the subscribe button. Uh, these videos will continue to go up at least two a week. Um, sometimes more, sometimes less. Need more water there. Um, on weeks where it is less, you may safely assume that I am busy with work, um, although the busiest season seems to be behind me for the time being. Um, and I lucked out today because of the typhoon and work was cancelled. So here I am in front of the camera doing some paint. Um, we're going to leave it there. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And look forward to more Uruk Megaboss painting in the future.